Now let us start with the third chapter which is a whole number. Now let us understand what is a whole number. In previous we have always heard about natural numbers, whole numbers, fractions, integers. But what are this? So let us start with uh, the chapter is all about whole numbers. So what are this whole numbers? Before understanding whole numbers let us understand what are natural numbers. Can you see oranges over here? Can you count them? Let us count. It is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it is 5. Now bananas. Tell me how many bananas are there. It is 1, 2 and 3. So it's 3. A kite. Tell me how many kites are there. It is 1. So I write 1. Means what? What we have done over here? All the things drawn over here were countable. So what are these countable numbers? The countable numbers are natural numbers. Can you count if I say count this? Can you count this? No, it is just a blank. Means what? If it is not countable, it is not a natural number. But can uh, if I put a sack of wheat before you and I say count this, how many wheats are there in this? A, a, a grain. So can you count this? Yes, you can count. But it is very difficult, right? Even though you, it is difficult and it is infinite, it is a natural number. In short, what? Anything which you can count is a natural number. Natural numbers start from 1 because 1 is a countable figure. Before 1 what comes? Before 1 0 comes. But can you count 0? No, you cannot count 0. That's why natural number starts from 1 and goes up till infinity. It includes 2, 3, till infinity. What is, it? What is the meaning of infinity? It can exceed to uh, any limit. Like if I say a number like this. Which goes on. It has no limit. Means what? Is this, a, uh, is this a natural number? Yes, it is also a natural number. So clear with the definition of natural number. Natural numbers are those numbers which are countable. Which starts from 1 and goes on till infinity. Now the chapter is about whole numbers. So what are these whole numbers? And why we have understood first the natural number? Is there any connection between the whole numbers and the natural numbers? Yes, the whole number is it is uh, always starts from zero means what natural numbers plus this zero the whole group of this numbers comes to us whole number so these are the whole numbers only the difference between them is the lowest natural number is one means what the smallest the number the natural number starts from one and goes up to infinity but whole number the smallest whole number is zero it starts from 0 and it goes up till what? It goes up till infinity. So this is the natural numbers which starts from 1 and goes till infinity. And these are the whole numbers which start from 0 and goes till infinity. So now we are clear with what are the whole numbers. Remember, whole numbers includes only symbols 0 to 9. It does not include any decimal factor. Means if I say this number. 0.765 is this a whole number no it is not a whole number if suppose this is this a whole number no it is also not a whole number this fraction is this a whole number see if you divide 4 by 3 the answer will be in point because 4 is not a multiple of 3 so this is also not a whole number so we are clear with the definition of whole number. Whole number means a single number which starts from 0 and goes up till infinity which does not include any decimal or a fraction whose divisible comes in point, whose division comes into decimal. Whole numbers are denoted by capital W and natural numbers by capital N means what? The starting letter of whole number is what? Whole number, right? W so that it is represented by capital W and natural numbers by cap capital N. Now let us understand if these natural numbers are added or subtracted then what happens. Suppose I take a natural number which is 4. We will first uh, see what happens if a natural number is added to a natural number. So I have taken a natural number because natural number starts from what? It starts from 1 and it goes till infinity. So 4 is also natural number because it comes between what? 1 to infinity. This is natural number. I add another natural number suppose 8. 
What is the answer of this? 12, right? So what is this 12? This, is this a natural number? Yes, this is a natural number. So a natural number plus another natural number equals to also a natural number. Let us take another example. Suppose first natural number is 10 and another is 22. Can you add this both? The answer comes to what? 2 plus 0, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So answer is what? 32. Does 32 come between 1 and infinity? Yes. Means what? Is 32 a natural number? Yes, 32 is also a natural number. So we are clear with the first property that addition of a natural number with another natural number equals to a natural number itself. Now let us understand what is subtraction. The, if subtraction of two natural numbers result to what? Let us take uh, let us take the example and understand this property. If I take a natural number which is 20 and subtract it by another natural number which is 8, the answer comes to what? The answer comes to 12. Is 12 a natural number? Yes, 12 is also a natural number. So can we conclude that subtraction of two natural numbers also equals to a natural number? No. Before this, let us take another example. Suppose 20 minus 20. Is 20 a natural number? Yes. Is another 20 also a natural number? Yes. But the subtraction of this two gets me the answer as 0. Is 0 a natural number? No. Means what? It is not compulsory that subtraction of two natural number is also a natural number. Because over here 0 is not a natural number. Means what? If A is greater than B, then the answer will be a natural number. If A equal to B, the answer will be 0. If A is smaller than B, the answer will be negative. So clear with three properties. It is not that subtraction of two natural numbers equal to a natural number. If A is greater than B, then the answer will be what? Answer will be negative. If A is equal to B, the answer will be 0. Because see over here A was 20. B was 20. So answer came to what? 0. If I take 20 and 40. Both of these are natural number. But the answer comes to what? Negative 20. So clear with this also. If A is smaller than B, the answer comes to as negative. And if A is greater than B, like the first example, over here A was greater than B, which is 20 greater than 8. So the answer came as positive, which was a natural number. So let us revise the properties of the natural number. What is the additional property? The addition property is natural number plus or addition of another, with another natural number gives us what? It gives us natural number. See over here example. See, 20 is a natural number. 10 is also a natural number. Addition of this two natural number gives us what? Gives us 30, which is also a natural number. And what is the subtraction property? See, the first is if A, that is the first natural number. This is A, this is B. So if A is greater than B, the answer will be a natural number. Means what? If A B is bigger than B, suppose 20, 20 minus 10. So 20 minus 10 come to what? 20 minus 10 equals to what? 10. So is 10 a natural number? Yes, 10 is a natural number. So A, if A is greater than B, then subtraction of this two number gives me what? A natural number. If A is equal to B, then let us see. If A is 20 minus A is equal to B, right? I said so if A is 20, B has to be 20. So I write 20 minus 20. The answer comes to what? 0. Is 0 a natural number? No, 0 is not a natural number. So I have written the answer as 0. Because dono same hai. So dono ka subtraction kya hoga? 0. 0 is not a natural number. Now the third. The third condition is that A is smaller than B. Suppose I write A as 10 and A B is a chota hai. So 10 से बड़ा वाला number B होगा, right? क्योंकि A तो B से छोटा है. So if this is 10, B has, B suppose 20, then the answer comes to what? Negative 10. 
is negative 10 a natural number no because it does not come between 1 to infinity it is a negative integer it is not a natural number so i have written the answer will be what the answer will be negative and not a natural number now let us move on to whole numbers we have learned the properties of a natural number similarly we will learn the properties of a whole number let us start with the first property which is addition property if a is a whole number plus b which is a whole number the answer c will be a whole number let us understand this addition property with an example tell me any of the whole number a suppose 20 like previous example only addition property hai to addition to hoga hi right so add it by the another whole number let us take 10 so 10 sorry 20 plus 10 equals to what equals to 30 is 30 a whole number whole number starts from 0 goes up to infinity so 30 0 to infinity ke beech mein aata hai yes means what the addition of two whole number is always a whole number suppose 15 and 17 15 plus 17 addition of this both comes to what 32 tell me is 15 a whole number yes because it comes between 1 to infinity 17 is also a whole number and 32 which is the answer is also a whole number so we are clear with the first property which is a addition property which says that if a is a whole number added by a b which is another whole number answer c comes to a whole number now the next property which is a commutative property what is this commutative property see the formula or the format of this uh, property is a plus b equals to b plus a means what the sequence does not matter so a plus b likho ya b plus a likho the answer remains the same denoted by equal to sign let us take an example suppose this example only 15 plus 17 what is the answer of this the answer of this is 32 Tell me now, agar main isko yahan likhu and isko yahan and if I write it as 17 plus 15 equals to what? 32 itself means what? If A is a whole number and B is a whole number, addition of this both will be equal to B plus A which is totally reverse of this. So clear with the two properties which is additional property and commutative property. Choose the right kindergarten, a right bag and matching bottle to go with, the right school, the right friends, choose the right subjects and score well, be an expert in all, the right teacher. And make sure that they like you. Choose the right timing. The right bus. And take a cab if getting late. The right train. And don't stand near the gates. Mind the pockets. Better get into ladies' compartment. And make sure your moustache hasn't started coming. Choose the right study time. And forget games. IPL, IHL, rock and metal, guitar, axe. The right group. And be a model to your brother. Seriously. Choose the right syllabus. The right test paper. Keep guessing questions for exams. Choose the right branch. The right college. The right stream. Choose the right career. Lucky to have a father's business to take care of and a father to allow that. The right counselor. The right form and make sure the project is submitted on time. Choose the right website. And rely on your friends for more information. Oblivious of the sites they have been to, there is no end to your woes. Getting better with every step you climb up the ladder, the summer vacations shorter, the bucket list bigger, the night darker, the books heavier. The only light you have is your friends ahead of you. To babbly, he is right. Ever thought how? He got the direction. No more spending your energy and money on coaching classes. No more missing classes for rain, rally and nonsense.
get your interest back in subjects through our creative ways of teaching. Doubts, concepts, applications, all explained through one vibrant animation. Subjects covered by multiple teachers with repeat telecasts. Special programs only for basic foundation and paper analysis. Personality development, career counseling, admissions, hobbies, all covered. A new approach to study with long-term perspective. So sit back comfortably in your homes and watch Study Spectrum TV channel. Answer is 10. Now, we will see the answer, which is 0 plus 
टेन टेन में वॉट इज जीरो प्लस टेन टेन इट सेल्फ सो आई रेड टेन एंड यहाँ पे ए तो एज इट इज है सो कैन यू सी दस टेन इक्वल टू टेन इक्वल टू टेन सो डज एडिशन फॉलो द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ आइडेंटिटी येस बिकॉज ऑल द आंसर्स आर इक्वल सी लोग को यर टेन इक्वल टू टेन इक्वल टू टेन सो एडिशन हैज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वॉट असोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी एज वेल एज आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी इन असोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी इट टेल्स दैट एडिशन डज नॉट मैटर और डज नॉट हैव एनी इफेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द ब्रैकेट्स अगर मैं ब्रैकेट यहाँ प्लेस करूँ या यहाँ प्लेस करूँ तो आंसर रिमेन्स द सेम विच इज अ वेयर टेन टेन एंड वॉट डज आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी सेज आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी सेज दैट अ होल नंबर एडेड टू अ जीरो विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस द होल नंबर विच इज ए अवर यर एंड द आंसर विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट ए विच इज टेन सो एडिशन फुलफिल्स दिस बोथ द प्रॉपर्टीज So we have finished the uh, finished the properties of addition. Now let us understand the properties of subtraction. The first property is closure. Now what is this closure? Like addition only, a like addition what it told a whole number added to a whole number will give us what? It will always give us a whole number. But what does subtraction say? Is this uh, is the closure property same for the subtraction also? Let us check. Over here, they say does not hold good. What is the meaning of does not hold good? Closure property and subtraction does not hold hold good. Let us take an example. They have also told that if a is greater than b, then a minus b will be a whole number. Like addition only means means what? It will hold good. But if a is equal to b, then then it will not hold good. And if a is smaller than b, then then also it will not hold good. Let us understand this property with a simple example. Over here, they have a. Let us take a as a is equal to twenty and b is equal to ten. For the pro first property, which is a is greater than b. See, look over here. A is what? A is twenty. B is what? B is ten. Means what? A is greater than b. The first condition is satis satisfied. Now let us say, uh, check if by this substitution of a and b we get a minus b is equal to whole number or not. If we get a whole number, then what? Then this condition will hold good for the property of closure in subtraction. Now let us check. Twenty minus ten equals to what? Ten. Twenty is a whole number, right? Ten is also a whole number. Is the answer ten whole number? Yes. Means what? If a is greater than b, then the answer will be a whole number. That is, the subtraction of a minus b will be what? Will be a whole number. So the closure property will hold only good if a is greater than b. If not, then it will not hold good. Now let us check when it will not hold good. We have uh, we have checked that if a is greater than b, then the property of closure will hold good. Now let us check when the closure property will not hold good. For suppose if a is equal to b, like a over here is twenty and b is also twenty, because they are telling that a is equal to b. So if a is twenty, b has to be what? B has to be twenty. This was the first example. Now the second. So twenty minus twenty comes to what? Twenty minus twenty is equal to zero. Is zero a whole number? Yes, means what? It will hold good. But this condition that it will not hold good was for what? Was for natural number because zero was not a natural number. But over here, the first property and the second property, both this property will be will hold good for the closure property of subtraction. Let us see. Twenty is a whole number. Twenty is also a whole number. Zero is a whole number. Means what? अगर ये दो प्रॉपर्टीज हैं, देन ओनली दिस प्रॉपर्टी विल होल्ड गुड इफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज देयर देन इट विल नॉट होल्ड गुड व्हाई नॉट होल्ड गुड लेट अस टेक इफ ए इज 20 एंड व्हाट दे आर टेलिंग कि ए इज लेस देन बी मींस व्हाट बी इज ग्रेटर देन ए सो इफ ए इज 20 आई विल टेक बी एज व्हाट आई विल टेक बी एज 30 सो 20 30 कम्स टू व्हाट कम्स टू -10 
So is minus 10 a whole number? No. Means what? For this, it will not hold good. See, listen over here. This three conditions that is hold good, not hold good, not hold good was for what? Was for natural numbers. But over here, first two conditions will hold good. Why? Because zero is a whole number. जब natural numbers हम पढ़ रहे थे, तो ये दो ये दो property सेट ये दो property नहीं satisfy कर रही थी, जब ये property satisfy कर रही थी, ये वाली क्यों नहीं कर रही थी? Because the answer was zero and zero is not a natural number. But we are now studying whole numbers. In whole number, both this conditions will satisfy and both this condition will hold good. Why? Because zero is a whole number. So that is the difference between a whole number and a natural number. We, this second property, it changes. In natural number, it was not holding good. But over here, it was holding good. Why? Because zero is a whole number but not a natural number. So we are clear with the first property which, are, which is a closure property. Now let us understand the second property which is what? Commutative property. Like addition only. In this also same. Just what it was the addition property. This is what? Subtraction commutative property. Let us understand this property with the formula. That is A minus B is not equal to B minus A. Means what? In addition it was holding good. We have learned or we have seen that example. 15 plus 70 equals to 32 and 17 plus 15 equals to 32 means what sequence matter nahi karta tum 17 ko pehle likho ki 15 ko pehle likho the answer remains the same see 32 32 yahan pe maine 15 pehle likha 17 baad mein likha in the next i have written 17 first and 15 later then also answer of this both and the answer of this both are matching. So, the commutative property was holding good. Let us check over here. Over here they are trying to say by this sign which is not equal to. Equal to dala or it cross kar diya. Means what? Not equal to. Matlab you hold rahe ki this property will not hold good. Let us check with the example. If A minus B. Then I'll, uh, let us substitute A ko mein kya likhu? Let us take A as 20. So A is 20 minus B. Let us take 10. And then I'm not equal to sign dal kiyo. Or B minus A. B ke hai yaan pe? Look over here. B is what? B is 10. So I'll write 10 minus A which is what? 20. This ka answer kya hai 20 minus 10. It will be 10. And this. 10 minus 20 minus 10. So is 10 equal to minus 10? No. That's why they are trying to tell ki this both are not equal. See in, uh, in subtraction the sequence matters. Yahan pe kaise sequence matter nahi kar rata. Tum 15 ko pehle liko ki 17 ko pehle liko. Answer 32 hi aara tha. Kyunko addition tha. Agar mein ek simple example do to kaise. Let us take ki aapke kuch. Uh, aapke paas 6 mangoes the. Aapne aur 6 mangoes. Lie. So it does not matter. See 6 plus 6. Ultimately what is the answer? 6 plus 6? 12 right? And subtraction mein kya hota hai? If I say ki tumhar paas 6 mangoes te aur tumne 7 mangoes aur lie. Total tumhar paas kitne mangoes hai? 13 mangoes hai. Okay? Ya fir mein bolu ki 6 mangoes tumhar paas te tumne 5 kha liye. So what is the answer? The answer is 1. 6 minus 5, 1. But if I say you have 5 mangoes and you have 6 liye. Answer is negative 1. Can you see the difference? Here pe 6 or 5. Dono ka answer, dono ka sequence or position was mattering because it was subtraction. Subtraction ka answer negative aa sakta hai. Can addition's answer be negative if both the, if the, both the numbers are positive? Just say 20 plus 20 karo. Answer is what? Answer is 40. Is 40 a negative? No. But if I have two positive numbers, suppose 20 minus 30, what will the answer be? The answer will be minus 10. Means what? If both numbers number positive, but if the answer can be negative in subtraction, mein negative hai, the second number is greater than the first number. So that is what a commutative property is. Over here in subtraction, the place or the position of a number matters. It is not always that answer will come negative. It can come positive, but the, it can also come as negative. Like over here, B minus A. 
Suppose let us take 10, 10. If A minus B, suppose take A is equal to 10, minus B is equal to 10. And, and over here B is what? 10. Do not be 10 A or B. So answer kya aega? 0 equal to 0. This is the only condition. Agar A or B do not same honge, to hi commutative property will hold good. Otherwise, in any of the condition, it will not hold good. Because if one number is big and the other number is small, then ultimately, if I change the sequence, then one answer will be negative. And uh, this property will not hold good. So, 0 or the same number, like 10, 10, 10, 10. A is 10, B is 10. Hai. This is only the condition where commutative property will hold good. And this property, closer wala property, will uh, hold good hoga when the first, which is A, is greater than B or A is equal to B. If A B is small, then this property will not hold good. So we are clear with when this property will hold good and when this property will hold good and when the, both of this property will not hold good.